Studio bosses and the union representing writers have reached a tentative deal. Writers have been on strike since early May. The 15,000 plus members will still have to vote to ratify the deal. In a statement, the Writers Guild of America said, We can say with great pride this deal is exceptional with meaningful gains and protections for writers in every sector of the membership. Actors are still out on industrial action, though. They've been on strike since July. Both strikes have hit the in entertainment industry hard. Well, let's bring in Jeannie Wolfe, who's an entertainment reporter in the US. And Jeannie, thank you for joining us here on BBC News. Just first of all, for some people who don't know, just talk us through what this strike was over and what the conditions writers wanted. Well, Frankie, th this is the most positive of uh, news we've heard out of any meeting in all these months. Uh, what, they're, what the writers are asking for reflects the changes in the entertainment business. For instance, residuals, replay of programs and programs that are successful, uh, especially in streaming, which is where the television industry is, is aiming. Uh, and the streaming services don't like to report the statistics of their audience. But the, the writers are saying, if we're a big success, we want to we want to reap a part of the profits of that. They're also talking about the size and the duration of writers, how many people it takes to write a show, how long they get to work. And then there's AI, artificial intelligence, and everyone wants to make sure that they're protected against computers writing their script instead of them writing their scripts. Uh, you know, these are things that don't really resonate with the public, but with writers they do, and they, and they affect all of us because we count on those shows, the movies and the TV shows, we count on them to entertain us and, and we count on their success. Yep. And just talk us through this agreement. You said to begin with, this is one of the best pieces of news to come out of Hollywood. Do we know any more about this agreement? Well, I, I think it's good news that no one is leaking the details because to do so would be going against their agreement that they wait to work this out and that they get to ratify it with the Guild. But on the other hand, uh, the details, everyone's waiting for the details. And it's a good sign that the Writers Guild is saying this is great progress because the actors haven't settled their strike yet. Mm, yeah, and, and I, I, I want to get on to that first. But first of all, I, I, I want to look at the agreement. This, uh, this will have a huge impact across the world. The industry itself is worth billions. Here in the UK, we've been feeling the effects, the industry here, huge films on hold, huge studios left empty. How do you think this agreement is going to trickle down and affect the global economy? Well, look, they've already lost billions of dollars that won't be recouped. But I do think it will. It'll affect the spirit of the economy because right now there does seem to be big friction between labor in all industries and and between management. But also, I'll tell you what, day to day, people are looking to go to the movies and, and looking for new things to watch on TV. I don't know about you, but everyone's saying, what are you watching now? <laughs> They're tired of the same program. And they also aren't enjoying the fact that they're used to key actors coming out and, and you know promoting the shows and writers there, there's there been very little publicity around these shows i think it's a, a huge impact of financially and then there's some downside to the impact which is trust you know creating a tv show or creating a movie is a very delicate thing it's creative you don't walk into a set and say, OK, uh, you know, turn the machines on. <laughs> we can go back and do our show. So mm. it, it depends on everybody getting along. You know, you watch all those shows where they thank everybody. I couldn't have done it alone. Yeah. You cannot do entertainment alone. And, and Jeannie, briefly, just before we go, uh, you are part of the Actors Union. That is still on strike. Any signs a deal can be made there? I, I hope, of course, a deal can be made there. 
But uh, I, I think there's going to be some resentment that they weren't talked to till now. And also they've said in the past, we're not just going to go ahead and sign on whatever you'd agree with with the writers. But right now, there's such stress. There's such a, a bad feeling in the air that I think even the writers are, even the actors are going to agree. We got to mm -hmm. come to an agreement. We got to yeah. move forward. This is going to have implications for months to come. Okay, Jeannie Wolf, thank you so much for joining us live from Hollywood here on BBC News.